this is an introduction to unit circle trigonometry. Uh, this is what's called the unit circle. Uh, the radius is 1 in all these cases. And the standard trigonometric orientation, theta equals 0, then 30 degrees, 45, 60, 90, 120, 135, 150, then 180. This is a straight angle all the way down here at 270 and then back to zero. The radian equivalent is given 30 pi over 6, 45 pi over 4, etc., all the way around. These are points we can find exactly using some right triangle trigonometry. Uh, X and Y coordinates all positive. Over here, Y coordinate positive, X coordinate negative. We're on the negative X axis. Third quadrant, both coordinates negative. Fourth quadrant, y negative. We're on the negative y axis, x is positive. Uh, some basic trig definitions uh, we'll use to uh, solve some equations. This is a visual exercise to solve some equations. Uh, eventually, we'll solve some uh, more sophisticated equations. But if we can solve these simpler ones first, we'll be able to understand the more complicated ones. Uh, we're looking for where sine of theta is equal to half. Theta is this angle here, starting at the x-axis, going counterclockwise. Uh, well, the definition of sine theta, it's equal to y-coordinate, quite simply put. Uh, and it's an extension of right triangle trig. Sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Y over 1 would just be Y. So really, we're looking for a Y coordinate of a half. Uh, so the Y coordinate's positive up here. So we'd expect a quadrant 1, quadrant 2 solution. Well, there's a Y coordinate of a half. And also, there's a Y coordinate of a half. And so if we're interested in answering in radians, there's our two solutions, pi over 6, 5 pi over 6. That's also quadrant 1 and 2. Uh, now, cosine theta equals negative a half. Definition cosine theta is equal to x coordinate, and that would be right here. Okay, adjacent over hypotenuse. It's a right triangle. To, uh, definition. So we're really looking for an x coordinate of negative a half. Well, uh, it helps to know where to look. We're looking on the negative x axis, so quadrant 3, quadrant 4. You can even write that down first. Quadrant 3 and 4. Where is the x coordinate equal a half? Well, right there, or negative a half. And uh, also, uh, up here, right here. So our solutions 2 pi over 3 and also 4 pi over 3. That's most of this exercise. However, trigonometry with the tangent function Tangent theta equals negative 1. A little more tricky. Tangent theta is equal to y over x. In this case, it's opposite over adjacent. Again, a stent with an extension of uh, right triangle trigonometry. Uh, we're looking for this ratio is negative 1. So in other words, y is the opposite of x. Uh, where is that going to be true? Well, first of all, we want these to be opposite signs. That's going to be quadrant 2 and also 4. Quadrant 2, quadrant 4. Now, where are x and y coordinates opposites? Well, right here and right here. If you divide those two, you get negative 1. So it looks like we have 3 pi over 4 and also 7 pi over 4. Those are the two solutions. When the tangent's negative, we always have a second and fourth quadrant solution. 
that tangent were positive, we would have a first and third quadrant solution. Uh, here's another example. Tangent theta equals square root of 3. Okay, a little harder to find that, but keep in mind if we have y over x equals square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half, uh, these twos cancel. It's an interesting fraction cancellation technique, and that gives you square root of 3 over 1 or just square root of 3. So really we're looking for... Uh, well, first of all, tangent's positive, so we would expect quadrant 1 and 3. Let's look in quadrant 1. Where would we get y squared of 3 over 2 and 1 half? Looks like right here, okay, pi over 3. Now, one interesting thing about the tangent uh, solution is you can always go just go straight across and... Uh, and guess what? Negative, negative is positive. Okay, these tangent solutions are always straight across. And so we have 4 pi over 3 is the second solution there. Okay, uh, there's some ones in the homework that are of interest. Here's a couple. Two more problems. Tangent theta equals zero. Keep in mind that's y over x. Okay, we're looking for a y coordinate of zero. If y is zero, the whole fraction is zero. So uh, let's see, where's the y coordinate zero? Right here, and also right here. So we're talking zero, well, zero and pi. Okay, and if I ask you to give the quadrant, these are in between quadrants. Okay, these angles have no quadrant, so we'll just leave the quadrant answer. Uh, undefined, when is y over x undefined? Well, when x is equal to 0. Okay, when is the x-coordinate 0 up here and down here? And so we have pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. Okay, and uh, like before, uh, these two angles are in between quadrants, so we can't answer what quadrant. You could say in between quadrant 1 and 2, in between quadrant 3 and 4, but you can't say quadrant such and such. So that's all for this. We'll have another uh, trig video or two to follow.